welcome viewers to the 10th episode in a series of episodes that are focused on the 2020 internal science paper 1 which is in physics so if you haven't seen the last nine episode please check out on our youtube channel so let us look at question e, b9 phosphorus 32 can decay by emitting beta particles what is a beta particle so a beta particle in simplest term is seen just an electron so this is just an electron in the simplest term then to get this one mark how can we define what is a beta particle so a beta particle is a i nh and speed electron that is ejected from the nucleus so from nucleus by some radion nuclides during beta decay that's what is in a beta particle is question b if the proton number of phosphorus 32 is 15 state the new values of proton and mass numbers of the nucleide just after it emits a beta particle so we have phosphorus 32 meaning the mass number of this is 32 so because the proton number is 15 it means the number of protons in this nucleide is 15 then electrons is also 15 then neutrons will be 32 minus 15 which is the proton number we are going to get 17 so there are 17 neutrons before emitting the beta particle now once it emits a beta particle what is going to happen so after emitting the beta particle one neutron will convert to a proton so what is now going to happen is this after emitting the beta particle one of the neutrons is going to convert to a proton so this will be plus one because one of these will convert to that to match the increase in electrons so electrons are also going to increase by one remember the negative so electrons are going to be again 15 plus 1 which is 16 then neutrons are going to reduce by 1 so we are going to have 16 here so now the mass number will be 16 plus 16 which is 32 so the proton number becomes now 16 then mass number it will be 16 plus 16 remains unchanged which is 32 so this is what is going to happen question Loma numero 2 of beam, write the decay equation for phosphorus 32 after emitting two beta particles. So we are writing the decay equation. So we are going to start with 32, then in this case we are going to have 15, then this will be phosphorus. Then this decays by emitting an electron plus another electron like this then we add then what is going to happen here because there is a negative one here and negative one so these are going to increase by two so that we are going to have now compound formed to call it just x so we are going to have now this will be 17 then this will be 32 so such that when you add this 32 plus 0 plus 0 I should get this 32 which is here balanced then similarly when I come here I'm going to add 17 plus negative 1 plus that one I'm going to get a 15 which is this one then it is balanced in that manner so make sure that you show these electrons correctly this side that there are two then you'll be good to go 
Then question C. Phosphorus 32 can be used to prove that plants absorb phosphorus nutrient from the soil around them. State one safety precaution which should be taken into consideration when doing experiment with phosphorus 32. So what need to be done is avoid looking into a container which is open and containing phosphorus 32 without a shielding. So do not look into the container of phosphorus 32 without shielding. That's the first thing that you need to do. Number two, do not work over open container that contain phosphorus 32 without shielding. So don't open that container and look into that container without shielding. You need to be protected for you to use uh, this uh, dangerous uh, radioactive substance. So once you do this, you get the six marks, which is very critical for you to get in that distinction. So thank you for joining me in this episode. Please join me next episode as we start looking at uh, section C of this paper.